Atlantis, The Lost Tales, is a new game for PC and is the stunning new vision of a timeless legend. Developed by Paris-based Cryo Interactive Entertainment, hailed as one of the most imaginative development companies in the world, Atlantis is a game that will take you across five continents and let you step into a fascinating universe of visual intensity, fantastic machines, and unpredictable characters. You play Seth, an adventurous young man who lives on Atlantis, a small island dominated by an ominous volcano. You have been invited to join the elite group of the Sovereign's Companions, but you soon come to realize that the Queen has disappeared. Your first task is to find her. Your search will take you far and wide on board a crystal-powered flying machine, which is just one of the many surprises this sophisticated civilization has to offer. I wanted Atlantis to surpass time and space, in the sense that I didn't want the player to be stuck in one place or era. Atlantis is really kind of a dream world. Of course, the island doesn't really exist, so you're already outside familiar spatial orientation. Atlantis stands out as a game because it is neither a standard heroic fantasy nor a science fiction story. I was looking for a universe that would support a particular kind of game with a particular kind of ambiance, something genuinely new and different, something that we haven't already seen a hundred times over. And that's how the idea of Atlantis was born. And it's a premise that allowed us a great deal of flexibility, especially in terms of the level of visual richness and innovation. We were certainly inspired by the Greeks and Egyptians, but then went far beyond that to create a totally new atmosphere for Atlantis. The main game sets required hundreds of drawings. One of the strong points of the game are the over 40 different characters. Their features are based on several different races. You have Easter Islanders, Inuits. What? I explained it, don't you remember? A life, young man. You owe me a life. The hero, d'ailleurs, lui-même, le héros 7. The hero Seth is not a white-skinned Caucasian. He's a mixture of different races. We tried to make him look as universal as possible. And we wanted a kind of innocence and purity to be apparent in his face. His Highness told me to be a good boy. The principal adversary of the game during the game the player's main adversary is an Atlantean prince called the Consort. For him, we took our inspiration from Babylon, a dark, esoteric, and mysterious period of human history. In purely aesthetic terms, I tried to convey a feeling that is in harmony with the story and atmosphere of the game. You might even call it Zen or New Age. It's supposed to reflect the dreamlike aspects of Atlantis. And in order to immerse the player completely in this dream world, Cryo's in-house research and development team created a powerful new technology called Omni 3D. Here we are in front of the Royal Palace on Atlantis. At this point in the game, we already know that the Queen was last seen here before her disappearance. You'll notice that the player is given complete 360-degree mobility, both horizontally and vertically. It's just like really being there and turning your head to look left or right and up or down. This system introduces a new level of realism and freedom of movement for adventure gaming. It's like being in a real-time 3D game, only with greatly improved graphics quality. 
We continue to refine the Omni 3D engine throughout the development process, and we're even able to include animated characters and objects within each field of vision. For this epic adventure, a world of epic proportions had to be created entirely from scratch. The different exterior and interior sets are perfectly linked such that the player moves within this 3D world in a completely logical and coherent manner. A technical wonder and a lot of work for the team's graphic artists and programmers. The forest is made up of over four million polygons that would have taken one computer over eight months to calculate. If only one computer had been used for the entire game, it would have taken over eight years. Another innovation in Atlantis is our OmniSync feature. It's technologically complex, but it's really effective in bringing the characters alive when they speak. It's strange, but I have a feeling I've already seen one of them. OmniSync was specially developed by Cryo to recognize sounds and convert those sounds into accurately synchronized lip movements. This system was essential for the game's four hours of dialogue and means that the characters will appear to speak any language in the world as if it were their own. The game's 3D sound effects and original soundtrack are also very important. The composers of the 20 different musical segments are Stéphane Pic, who wrote the music to Dune and Lost Eden, and Pierre Estève, who produced the soundtrack for Dragon Lore 2. Their work in Atlantis was inspired by traditional music from all over the world. Atlantis, the Lost Tales, the intoxicating vision of a world that might have been, will echo in your mind and call you back again and again. <laughs> 